Hey guys, welcome to episode nine of Isolation, the series where I'm out here digging, riding, doing pretty much everything. And today I'm gonna test out this second jump right here for the very first time. I feel like I've reached a very exciting stage today on my trail because it's at the point where there is enough to have a really fun session here. There's two finished jumps, a couple turns, and everything else is looking really good. I have a really clear vision on how the trail's gonna go top to bottom now. I'm working with the most amazing dirt. Everything is just going so well. Now that jump number two is complete, today's the day we test it out. I'm at the top of the trail right now. Let's walk it through from top to bottom and you can see everything that's done so far. Off the top here, you drop in and then we go into the berm here, the very first berm. It's more of just like a gain speed type of turn. You're going pretty slow into it up here and you just take a couple pedal strokes in, rip through the corner, and then these speed rollers are what really sets the flow for the rest of the line. You come over this first roller, pump it really nice, and then naturally this berm has kind of a rolly bank into it, so you pump that as well. Then you aim high off this first step down, pop off the top corner, and it lines you up just perfectly when you get off that right spot. And the speed is like dialed. And when I last tested this first one, it was um, still really like soft and wet and now it's drying a little more hardened up. So I'm really curious to see how it rides today. I haven't actually rode it since that day of testing the first time I hit it. Now we come down here and you can see jump number two. It's looking really nice, so buffed out, so sick. Just loving that takeoff. The only thing that's bothering me still is A, there is still a bit of a compression here where this giant root was and down here it's like a bit low so it's going to compress you a little bit and then the top of the takeoff i have a little steeper than it might need to be like if you look at this it's so hard to tell on camera maybe from the side if you look at this from the side you can see it's got a bit of a lip right off the end there and normally i would love that but it just happens a little abruptly and there's a big boulder sticking up here so if i shave this down this is going to stick up more and i could just pull that up and then lower everything but i've been a little lazy and if this works how it is then i'm happy so i might just leave it i know this series is called isolation and it's all about doing things on my own but i don't feel it's wise to test things out when i'm by myself and right now i'm still on my own out here which is why i'm going to kill a bit of time and do some test warm-up runs while i wait for my buddy brett to show up he's a photographer he's going to take some photos for me and help me get these shots from a safe distance we'll keep things safe and it'll be way better to have someone else around right now while well, this is all happening um it's not out of my realm i can definitely hit this but you should never hit something for the very first time by yourself that's never a smart idea whether or not you feel completely comfortable with doing it i just don't think it's like the right thing to do okay let's get up there and start getting after it feels pretty good so buff. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Whoa! That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> it was like nothing. That's sick. Oh, I don't know why I was even worried about that. That's sick. <laughs> well, that felt a bit anticlimactic. The jump worked perfect for his try. Brett showed up right away. It's good to go. So we're going to get some shots now. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll, I'll come down. Sweet. Okay, rolling. That berm's gonna be so fast. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so sick. <laughs> this gap could actually be bigger with a built up takeoff. Like up more and out more. <laughs> Give you some more pop. It looks so intimidating though when I first built it. Right, yeah. Now it's like an overshoot. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh, yeah. 
I don't even know what I was worried about. This jump is completely perfect. And I've hit it a handful of times now. Look at my tire marks every single time I go off it. I'm landing at like the very top. It's so good. And that's with like the lightest, slightest brake check. It's so perfect. And yeah, like Brett came by, he got a couple shots. He was hiding way back there in the ferns, getting in some long lens shots for the first gap. And I think they turned out really sick. He seemed pretty pumped on them. So I can't wait to see those. Let's keep riding this a couple more times because I'm having way too much fun on it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is set up the camera on the takeoff of the second jump. And I'm gonna start from, I'm gonna start from the first landing and see if that gives me enough speed to clear this gap. Ghetto solo filming 101, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna point this camera, the GoPro, towards the landing of the second jump. And then I'm gonna point my phone to the landing of the first jump. And then hopefully I can cut these clips together and you can see exactly how this is working out. All right, let's try this out. Got my phone. I'm gonna throw it back here. Put some rocks on it to stabilize it. I think that will work. It's probably gonna fall over, but let's give this a try. Okay, first test. Can I clear? this jump from the first landing. Let's find out. Okay, drop it in. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Just made it. Look at that. I didn't even case it that bad. I'm like a foot short, maybe. Not even. I'm like at the very top of the case pad there. That is sick. It's also kind of scary because I'm gonna to have to make this bigger. Let's take a look at it. For some reason I was stressed about speed and that is like the opposite problem I'm having right now. This is a little too short. I think next heavy rain, when I can actually stack dirt again, I'm gonna cut this back to let's say like here. That's my imaginary line of where it should be. And then I will build it up, give it Maybe even less of a lip. I love how fast it is. I might just make it like a flat speed gap. That would be super sick. Cause then I could just like rip through this corner because look at this corner. I'm like shredding it every single time and it's lining up really nice. If I take a look at the berm down here, I'm not even riding like nearly as high as I have it built up at the very start. So I can take all this dirt like to here and I can push all of that down here. So it gradually gets taller as you come around the turn. And then the idea will be make this a shark fin and then just like blast like 20 feet plus out this way. It'll just be another nice speed jump that will set you up for the next step down I have planned. This is turning out so good. I'm so excited. I think that's it for testing today. Let's go do some riding on one of the trails up here. There's a lap I love to do. It's full of like some really cool rock features and stuff. I'll go hit a lap of that and then we'll call it a day. Okay, let's go get after it. Here we go. Oh, that's so fun. Just 
just gonna check my camera here. That's all good. Okay. That's the top bit that has all the rocks. Super good time. Now the bottom is just like flatter, fast, nice flowy single track. Okay, huh. that's it, Woo. so sick. That's it for today. Like I promised, I'm gonna feature a clip from every single one of you who submitted a clip to my group folder in the last video. If you wanna be featured in future videos, then just go to the link in the description here, sign up for the group folder, join it, upload your content, and you can expect to see yourself at the end of the next video that I put up. There's some really cool stuff in here. I'm really inspired by you guys. Like there's honestly some really sick builds, some really cool riding happening. So thank you for contributing. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you guys so much. See you in the next video.